It's really interesting when you think about the fact that women are working longer and later into life, that it's something that we've never dealt with before. So we've never had to think about having women in the workplace en masse and thinking about them aging going through their normal life stages. So the organizations are well set up in many cases for things like pregnancy, but when it comes to menopause, that's a time of life when the hormonal disruptions are happening. And without the education, it's really tough for the people going through menopause and the people supporting someone going through menopause to know how to handle that. The reality is organizations can really make a massive difference by using the standard to dip into the information that's in there and do a really great awareness program to make sure that all colleagues understand what menopause is because fundamentally you're either going to work with somebody, live with someone, socialize with somebody going through menopause or you're going to experience it directly yourself. So having that awareness of what it is enables you to fundamentally start to think about the role type, what the demands of that role are and how you can put circumstances and adjustments into place to support someone so they can stay in their A-game the whole way through menopause, but also how you can support the people, supporting the people going through menopause as well. So I think it's a knowledge information piece that we need to start thinking about and from that basis we can start working out what we need to do practically with practical steps going forward. So the standard is really great to help support individuals because obviously it's working through all the different aspects of menstrual health, of menstruation, it's looking at menopause, it's helping organisations begin to understand how to navigate their way through someone who might be experiencing challenges either with menstruation, menstrual health or menopause. From a knowledge basis, there's lots of information in the standard. Equally, you need to dip into it to look for lots of practical suggestions from raising awareness, from training line managers, from putting practical steps to support people and always making sure that you're making it person-centered to ensure that people are getting the right level of support. They're being hired, they're being listened to and that they continue to thrive in their job going forward. The standard is going to be a great tool to help raise awareness on menstruation, menstrual health and menopause because of the huge reach that it's had already, both through the involvement of incredible range of people that have helped create it, the publicity that we've had around it and the organisations that have already started downloading it. There's a great wealth of information in there and lots of practical tips that organisations can take forward. One of the great things about supporting people going through menopause in the workplace is actually listening to the employee. So many of the organisations I've worked with, the very first thing we do is just ask the frontline, ask the people doing the jobs, what type of help and support that they would really value. Predominantly, people want to be heard. They want to be listened to and they want to know that they're being supported with whatever their needs happen to be. No two people's journey through menopause is the same. So it's really important that we get to understand what are the tiny things that people need or some of the larger things that people might need in order to help them stay focused and stay doing their job going forward. And I think the, the key thing is about raising that awareness, making sure everyone understands what menopause is. Line managers feel comfortable, confident and competent to be able to notice signs in their colleagues, to reach out sensitively and have conversations and make sure the right support's in place. The sheer existence of a standard in menstruation, menstrual health and menopause is a massive step forward to breaking the stigma on all of those topics. It's something that we just traditionally haven't been brought up talking about, we haven't made accommodations for in the workplace, so in itself it is a fantastic step forward. We know that having it to refer to is a great way for people to open conversations in the workplace, for people to be able to come together, to share their experiences, refer to some of the top tips in the document and start making great inroads to normalise menstruation, menstrual health and menopause.